This video is sponsored by Lingoda. Save 15% on language courses with code RUBOS1. Here's the situation. You're new in Germany or Austria, and although you are managing to pay the rent, it is a bit of a struggle. You may be a student, you may be trying to set up a business. In any case, a little bit of extra income would come in very handy indeed. The thing is, though, that as a foreigner, it's not easy for you to find a flexible part-time job, so you jump at every opportunity. And then you find the perfect opportunity. No skills, no experience, no language proficiency required. Working from home, you can make thousands of euros a week if you want. So you answer the ad. You'd be an idiot not to. The position you're applying for is most likely called Paketagent, but it could be called Paketmanager or Warenagent or Warenmanager or Versandmitarbeiter or something else equally vague but important sounding. Your job is to act as a sort of quality control for an import-export business. You will receive packages through the post. Probably you'll be told to unpack them, document them, photograph them and repack them. In any case, you will be told to send them on to another address. What you don't know is that if you take on this job, you will be working for a criminal gang. There are no exceptions to this rule. Any job that's anything like this one is literally criminal. It starts off promisingly. You receive some very professional looking documents, but of course these days it's very easy to make professional looking documents. Here's a letter that took me about an hour to make, and it's completely fake. They ask you for all your details and a copy of your passport or ID. And even though you never actually meet anyone in person or even speak on the phone, it all seems perfectly legitimate and above board. You sign a proper contract and everything, and soon the packages start coming in. These packages, though, contain goods that have been bought with stolen credit card numbers. Your job isn't quality control at all. Your job is to be the one who gets Court. At some point, the real owner of the credit card will cancel it and report the matter to the police. And when the police investigate, they will find you. And although privately the officers fully understand that people get involved in this unwittingly, the fact is that ignorance is not a defence and you will face charges. Of course, the people you're working for never actually pay you. Most people simply stop sending the parcels on as soon as they notice they've not been paid, so when the police do come knocking, the incriminating evidence is right there. It gets even worse because the companies who sold the goods want their money. Those goods were bought in your name and sent to your address, so you are the one they'll sue. If you see a job offer remotely similar to this, do not have anything to do with it. If you already have one of these jobs, then you must act immediately. Under no circumstances must you wait until the police find you. If you go to the police as soon as you become suspicious, you may get off lightly. If you've already started receiving letters from online companies demanding payment, or you've already had a visit from the police, then the only thing I can suggest is that you get a lawyer as soon as possible. I expect this scam also operates in other countries, but how you deal with it might be a little different, so check up on that first. But always remember the golden rule. If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. Surviving in a foreign country can be difficult, but you can make life easier for yourself by improving your language skills. At Lingoda, you attend language classes over the internet, and you can put together your own personal schedule to suit your individual needs. Learn German from qualified native speakers by following the link in the description and using the code RUBOS1 for a 15% discount. No skills, experience, or language proficiency. <laughs> but always remember the golden rule. If it's too... I forgot the golden rule.